Thank you very much, Drew. Are you going to be able to hang around on the line with us? I'll, I hope to listen to, uh, to all those present. All right, I'll, I'll try to carry on. Uh, if anyone, anyone who uh, has ever spent any time in a vehicle in West Texas with Rob Schnell, as I have, can attest, he likes to get places in a hurry, so it is very appropriate that we're here dedicating the overpass. <laughs> but like at this time, as, as Drew indicated, a driving force behind this was Wade Choate, and I'd like to introduce his son, Vic Choate, here to speak on his behalf in honor of uh, Representative and Judge Janelle. Thank you very much. Back in 1988, I was at my dad's house. I got a telephone call from Rob Janelle. He said, Beverly and I have discussed this, and Dick Burdett is going to retire. I'm going to run for state representative. I said, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard of. <laughs> How much does it pay? He said, $500 a month. I said, that's the stupidest thing I ever heard of. He said, and on top of that, I want you to be my treasurer. I said, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. But lo and behold, it came to pass. And here we are today. And we all know Rob as our state representative, chairman of appropriations. He's done so much for us, the city of San Angelo, Tom Green County, the whole area. But you, many of you may not know that not only was he a state representative, but Robert was a football coach. He was a referee. He was an umpire. Of course, he's an attorney. He was a captain in the, in the U.S. Army. He was a marathon runner. He was a team roper, a polo player, a federal judge, a national ski patrol man, a mountain climber, and now you're an overpass. <laughs> so Rob, we want to thank you. Thank you for all you've done. On behalf of the whole entire Cho family, we are grateful. We are very proud that you are you are running the ball for us. We thank you very much. Thank you very much, Vic. Uh, I'd like to now introduce uh, Walter McCullough, the district engineer for the Texas Department of Transportation for this district, to make a special presentation. Thank you. The judge, that uh, bridge down there is built out of high strength concrete. It's not just regular stuff, it's, it's a special deal. Uh, let me relate just an initial story from when uh, Rob was kind of first elected into the House of Representatives. He came by my office with a contingency from Sterling County. Rob, you probably remember this. And he said, you know, we've got a farm road up there that we really need to extend out into the oil patch and provide some better transportation for the farmers and ranchers and, and the community and the oil business. It's going to help Starling County grow. And I said, you know, that's a great job. We'd like to do it, but we just don't have the money. And he said, well, tell you what, you get the plans ready to go, and I'll take care of the money. And he did. And we built that road. And that was just one. That was on Far to Market 2139, and that was about a $2.4 million job. If you'll just keep adding these, adding these up. US 67 here in San Angelo, Houston Art Freeway, $99 million. US 87, Texas Trunk System in Sterling County, Glasgow County, $15 million. US 87 at Great Creek Overpass, the Arlene Kirkland Overpass. Remember that? $2.4 million. That's one of those jobs where we had wreck after wreck after wreck and people died. And I don't think we've had a fatality up there since. Wreck Road 11 over Lake Ivy, $1.8 million. Loop 306 at FM 380, $12.4 million. A total of $55 million that he went to our commission and said, we need these projects for West Texas and leverage that into $140 million for this community and this area of West Texas and his district, and even projects beyond his district. We thank you for that. Great job. <laughs> Rob, if I can get you to come forward, we have some uh, presentations to make today in honor of, of you 
and Beverly. Beverly, thank you for sharing your husband with us. <laughs> <laughs> we have some replicas of the signs that are going to go up on the East West Freeway and uh, Bryant Boulevard. One says US 67, one says US 87. Uh, the signs that we're going to put up out there, and they're already up, I saw those today, are a lot bigger than these. <laughs> but this is something that you can uh, either hang in your office or out in the barn, whichever. <laughs> Thank you very much. We appreciate you.